So hello. I'm going to explain to you the use of an iPad and two apps, the Canvas app and GoodNotes, in submitting written work in a math class. You have to have a Canvas site set up for your course and a written assignment. In this case, the written assignment is delivered via an original PDF on which both the student and the instructor will write using the iPad and the app GoodNotes. So let me show you how this works. We open up Canvas. We have a sample problem set sitting here in Canvas. The student will find this in either their files or in the schedule for upcoming due assignments. They click the export button here and they'll go ahead and open it in GoodNotes. So the sample appears here in their bookshelf in GoodNotes. You can have up to two different documents sitting on the bookshelf in GoodNotes for free. If you really want to have an unlimited number, you can pay $6 and have the full app. That's not really necessary because you can simply delete existing documents to free up some space for a new one. So let's open up this assignment. This is what the student would see. They enter text by hitting first the zoom box here, which they can move around in the upper window to center it on where they want to enter text. The zoom box allows the finger to be of the same size to fit all that they need to write on the page. They can use the writing tool here, a fountain pen. They can change the styles, of course. We'll just use a fountain pen for now. And they can select a color. I'll just have them entering text in black. So I'll just take a minute to enter a little bit of text and have them stop at some intermediate early stage in the problem and solicit help from the instructor. Let's suppose they just try to solve the first part of this problem. And you'll notice that a blue box appeared there. That's an auto advance. Okay, so let's say they do a little bit more here. And here I'll just show you the, the blue box effect there. It just jumps over to wherever you want to write next. Or you can simply move the box around manually, like up on the upper part of the window here. And let's say they make a mistake at this point. Uh, they forgot to switch the signs once they multiply it through by the negative sign. And then let's say, let's say they're, they think they're done, but they're stuck because they don't remember how to do the uh, logarithms and exponents at this point. And let's just say they say help and call it good for their first session. They want some help. So they hit the ellipsis up here to export the page, the current page, to an external app and let's say they rename it to sample problem set submission one as a PDF that's fine to canvas canvas tells them that the file has been received and is now ready to submit which they have to do so they hit the gearbox here to add that file and it will show up here to the right there it is. You select it, you upload it, it goes to Canvas as a submission, there it is, and now the instructor can see it. So, the instructor opens Canvas to go look for submissions. They get an email notification that there's something waiting to be graded. They open it here, and they follow exactly the same steps, steps that the student does. They export it to GoodNotes, And here we go. We open it up and we start to edit it in exactly the same way that students do. So in this case, you might want to write, just like the students did. Or if you want to type a little text, let me just show you, you can add a text box. So and then you could type some note here, like there is an oops. Error 
in the oops in the next to the last step. Okay, so let's say you've entered some text, you're okay with that. Um, you can put arrows here to tell them where it is. If you want that arrow to stand out, you might, you can highlight it. Um, if you want to, if you want to put a nice shape, you can use the shape tool here. You know, we'll change it into a nicer box. Oops. Uh, if you had made a mistake on a whole step, you can use the undo button here. Two fingers will navigate you around on the page. Here I'm trying to circle the oops. That wasn't a very good box. I'm trying to do this. There's shape recognition. Now it made a nice box. Um, again, you have the zoom tool. At any rate, there's lots that you can do with this. Now we want to submit this ourselves. We go ahead and export it the same way the student did. The current page to external apps. I might also rename this as Let's just say feedback one, export it to Canvas again. Files received. Again, I upload the file. It's going to appear here to the right. There it is. Upload, and it's now submitted, and the student will be able to find this in their student account. And that's all there is, and you can go back and forth faster, the more practice, the faster this is. There we go, and there it is. So here's the original homework, here's a student sample or submission, and here's the feedback. And you could do this a couple times to thoroughly work out a good example. Thank you.